Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. So Hello producers and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Wateki. And this week's free horoscope is sponsored by yours truly once again. Right now, if you buy a one-hour reading with me at soulmart.me, I'll throw in a free 30-minute follow-up. So this is perfect for light casting in the Jupiter spectrum, right? Let's jump in, let's create a manifestation plan, and let me check in when you need me. If you want, come on down to soulmart.me while supplies of .me last. And come on down to soulgarden.me where it's all about you. And we've got a whole bullpen of Tauruses in this garden to help you be and manifest in the Jupiter vibration. Uh, we are writing about, at the moment, what is she writing about? Oh my God, oh, production zone reality, that's right. Because I was actually gonna make some fun of the fact that it is a production zone for Tauruses. You know, Jupiter has reached the point it left off in the retrograde, which means Tauruses are now moving ahead very quickly with their manifestation. If you want to network, if you want to compare notes, that's why I created this garden. Come on down, at least have a membership so we can send you Sprouts, a little email. So we call a new member of Sprout. Now, Taurus, it's a dynamic time. I don't know if it will be the most fun time in the next few days. I'm going to be frank with you, Taurus. Let's first start with the graduation of last month's transit. As Monday begins, we're at 29 degrees Pisces. Now, the 20th degree is the tested degree. It's a degree where you are tested on the month's issues, which has to be your place in the world, where you put yourself, how you draw your boundaries in the world, what you will be, and not letting your emotions carry you too far with worry or fret on Monday. Right Now, emotions were with career, so you are probably concerned with career reputation on Monday, and the test was whether or not you would sustain what you were supposed to learn. Ideally, you found a new context in the last three days. You found a new place, of a new way of seeing yourself in the world, understanding uh, what your sphere of influences are and where you want to go after maybe new markets, identifying new markets and whatnot. As we transition here on Tuesday, the sun is zero degrees Aries, and Tauruses are on to their next topic, their psychic state of awareness. In the next 30 days, Tauruses will actually be making a rather quantum leap in your connection to higher self. So wherever you are with faith, it's going to take a quantum leap upward. All right. Now this means that you have to clear out doubt. You have to clear out any type of uh, energy that prevents you from having faith, which we call weeds. Weeds in our soul garden. Weeds are crazy eights. It's part of our circular thinking that hooks into our circular thinking and it goes all the way to childhood. Creating huge strands of crap in our subconscious and makes us second uh, guess ourselves at times where we need to not, at times where we need to say, I can because I know because I have faith in me. So it is also a transit of quantum leaping out of probably an old faith quagmire, and I'll be talking about that. But on Tuesday, it's a very cloudy day, although your emotions are still focused on public opinion and reputation and last month's state of awareness, your awareness is going down, your capital awareness is already starting to move into the subconscious and it's a cloudy day on Tuesday. Now, if you want a little help, don't forget we do have office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays as a free service to people out there. Come down to soulgarden.me at 11 a.m. Our Soul Mart practitioners will answer free questions on their webcams and this is a way for us all to get to know each other for you to try out our awesome practitioners and see how they can change your life. Uh, so come on down and check it out. Usually you'll find me in a chat room being a smart aleck. Now, moving on to Wednesday. At this point on Wednesday, Emotions still on last month's topic, which is your social circle, how things are, checking in, you know, uh, shaking hands, kissing babies, that sort of thing. But your capital awareness is now certainly moving into the new topic of inner faith and what you have faith in. This is also your ability to connect your own psychic awareness. This is also your ability to get over karma. So karma, weeds, kind of same thing, right? These things that wrap themselves, the self-sabotage, the doubt 
out, the spiral energy down. This is what we want gone for good. And that means that we're going to step into a whole new plateau. All right. Now Uranus, which is the planet that's causing all this, is uh, on approach. We're on approach for Uranus. And that will happen on Saturday. We'll talk about that. But you could at any time from uh, Wednesday onward begin to have this quantum leap in inner faith. You could have a miracle. You could have a near-death ex experience too, so don't push it to something like that. You know, um, we, we want to gently find God. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's with Uranus, it is banana peel things that happen. You know, people slip. So be conscious about what you're putting out there. Now, for those of you that I watch over personally in the Guardian Agency, I'll be sending out personal texts on Wednesday, sending out to you any issues you have, strengths or weakness in the Aries vibration that goes back to your natal chart. So this is part of the extra service and watch over we provide. Just take them with a grain of salt and you could get up to nine depending on how many issues you have in Aries. Interesting, right? Find out. Now, moving on to Thursday, it's Lightcast Day. We waste no time to get right Right into manifestation. Lightcast day means that the moon now connects to the sun. This is known as a new moon in classic astrology. We got quite a party going on in the Taurus subconscious. So now because of how much going on in the subconscious, do not uh, take too many, do, I would not take drugs at this point. I would not do anything stupid. I would not hand glide right now. I would not parachute from anything. I would not tempt the universe uh, here with this subconscious nuclear reaction going on because if you're in heavy denial about something, it could take heavy breakdown to see it. And we don't want to have to go through that in harsh terms. So be very careful right now, Taurus. Um, we want to learn spirituality gently. But nonetheless, even though you may not have had your quantum leap in faith, like cast day is here on Thursday. So what you're casting here is a desire to A, let go of weeds. So this is definitely a day where you want to put your heart into saying, I don't want to be afraid of this. I don't want to fear this anymore. I don't want these patterns. And really identifying the weeds, the crazy eights that you want gone. That's number one. The other is trying to envision what faith and feeling good and connecting psychic side and this new higher self connection would be. I think it's kind of hard to visualize and like cast something you can't see. So this is a weird one. <laughs> so you'll have to tell me what you like cast. It's definitely one you want to network with the other bulls and the bullpen at soulgarden.me about, but put your heart into it. This red line is you stepping away from fears. Whatever this new inner faith is, it goes against the way you were raised. It goes against your belief structure that you used to have. It goes against your old religion. Okay, so there will be fear with going against what you have always known to step into this. And these fears come to a climax this week, and I'll keep talking about it as the days go on. Then we get to Friday. Now, Friday is an optimistic day. Third, uh, Jupiter rules the day, and so I think you're feeling good. Let us not forget Jupiter is in your sign. So no matter how difficult this inner faith issue is, you've got a wild card named Jupiter, which is going to match your hand all the way through the end of the summer. So really, there's nothing to cry or worry about. The universe is investing in Taurus, period, right? However, uh, I think you're starting to be open-minded. You're starting to look at the new frontier. This is a day of finding solution to problems. So if you've identified a weed, Friday's a day where you want to get rid of it. The moon uh, is still in Aries, so you're still very private. You're still very spiritual. You're still pretty cut off from the world on Friday regardless. So it's going to be a heavy spiritual time for Tauruses anyways, but this particularly. Don't forget Mercury is still retrograde. It's going to move back into Pisces, so you're going to start having retroactive thoughts about this last social reputation where you see yourself in the world and that sort of thing. But I think that's only because as you step into faith, you might have some final touches on your PR package. Right? So that's what I think with the retrograde is there. However, it's all starting to come together on Friday. Now, don't forget, if you want a little companionship, we've got SG Live on Fridays. Carolyn Nagel and myself host this webcam radio show. And we're going to move to courage. What is courage? Courage is an Aries vibration. And I want to get to the nitty gritty of how those rams do it. And if you're having issues with courage because you're trying to have greater faith in yourself, you want to tune into this. It's at 11 a.m. Pacific. That's 9 a.m. Honolulu or 6 p.m. London. Or if you can't make it live, in our chat rooms, then catch it recorded on our website anytime this weekend. And that brings us to the weekend, a new holiday I've invented here at Soul Garden, one that is wrapped with the conjunction of Sun Uranus. If you've been with us long enough, you know the moon conjuncting Venus is uh, Love Fest Day, and we know what Light Cast Day is. We had that this week. And now I recommend your Heads Up Uranus weekend. Because every time the Sun conjuncts Uranus, I've realized it's not just about a quantum leap of seeing in the future. Whenever there's a quantum leap, Whenever I've seen clients' cases where they have a quantum leap, it's because they had their quantum head up Uranus. 
right? You were, in a way, completely ignoring something right on your feet, like Dorothy finding out in the last scene of The Wizard of Oz that she could have gone home the whole time. What a jackass moment, right? Where it's like, Dorothy, you've had your head up your honest the whole time. You could have clicked your heels and gone home, right? This is what it's really about. It's not just about discovering the new frontier of faith. It's also about discovering why it is we refuse to see it in the first place. And that is really where the gem is, right? Of where your head was up your honest. So we're going to make a whole weekend out of it in Soul Garden. Come on down. Come to Love, uh, to Love Lounge. We'll be chatting it up and we'll be singing about psychedelic moments in there. And we'll be encouraging our fellow gardeners to get rid of this issue. Now on Sunday, you really feel the follow through because Jupiter in Taurus is really the pushing force that's going to make everything grow. Now the holy shift last week, I don't know what yours was, but mine was stepping away from the old fights. That's what I realized it was for me. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't care if I lost. I'm stepping away from a whole bunch of old fights. I, I lost. Fine. My ego just caught, wrote off old battles, which is like makes me ready for the ones I really care about. I think on Sunday you're going to feel whatever your holy shift was last week, uh, and this goes into concert with the new inner faith. It's like you've got a new, uh, you've pulled your head out of Uranus, you've got a new quantum leap in your inner faith or a new idea of where that can go, and so that only means that anything's possible with Jupiter and Taurus. So it's good news for the bulls. Thank God us for that. All right, bull, that's all I got for this seven day forecast. I will see you in seven days, or I'll see you online, or I'll see you in us live. I'll see you somewhere. But until then, live, love, be.